Okay, so today we're gonna to be making spaghetti and meatballs in the Ninja Foodi. Now this is the same exact procedure and recipe if you have an Instant Pot. I'm a big fan of the Ninja Foodi. I think it's a lot more versatile and I think it does a great job. Either of those products are great, so check them out. So you wanna make spaghetti and meatballs quick and easy in under 15 minutes. You're gonna to need to go to the grocery store. You're gonna to need to find some frozen meatballs in the freezer section. You're gonna to need to find some spaghetti noodles. You're gonna to need to find a can, the marinara sauce, tomato sauce. Then you're gonna meet me back here at the Ninja Foodie at this timestamp in the video right now. Stick around, let's go through this video. This is a quick and easy, simple recipe for spaghetti and meatballs. First, we're gonna start off with the sauce. A few simple ingredients. I love these certified San Marzano peeled tomatoes. Make sure you buy the can that says certified on them. I love this brand, I love this can. That's what you need. Fresh garlic, that beautiful fresh basil. We're gonna need to get some type of Italian cheese. I love a Parmesan, I love a Romano. We're gonna get that, a little bit of salt and pepper, a little bit of olive oil, and then we're gonna get that simmering over on our stove. So let's get this sauce made. Now I found this sauce recipe online over a year ago and I've made it a bunch of times and I've done my little tweaks to it and it's really, really amazing. So in this pan, which is cold, we haven't even turned it on yet, I have the fresh basil, I have three cloves of garlic that I chopped up and a fairly healthy amount of olive oil to coat the bottom of the pan. Now I wanna turn the heat on and I wanna bring it up slowly. I wanna be browning this basil slowly and I wanna be browning the garlic. I wanna be infusing the oil. And then ultimately I'm gonna pull this basil out before we put the tomatoes in. All right, let's get our stove lit and put on low. Let's just bring that oil, basil, and garlic up slowly. Now you could crush these into your pan with your hands, of course. I'm using this little Ninja food processor, little blender here, which is amazing. And I'll throw another garlic clove just for fun in there. And we're gonna blend this up and we're gonna get it all, all ready. Now I'm gonna continue mashing or blending or whatever you need to do with some garlic, a little more fresh basil, and then we're gonna get a sauce going. And ultimately we're gonna add that into our pan. Okay, so we took our basil out and now we're gonna start incorporating our tomatoes and have a little bit extra basil and garlic in it. And now we're gonna to wanna to bring all this to a boil. So let's get that whole can in there and we'll bring it to a boil. As we're bringing it to a boil, we add some salt and a little handful of cheese. Then we're gonna simmer it while we're working on our meatballs. So let's bring this to a boil, we'll simmer it, and then it's meatball time. Okay, our sauce is simmering, it's time to make the meatballs. Again, this isn't my recipe, it's a recipe that I found online about a year ago, but it's phenomenal. Let's get some Italian parsley going on. We're gonna start out with a bowl, and I took some of the sauce that was simmering, I put a little bit in, probably about three or four tablespoons of the sauce that's simmering that wasn't done yet. Next in, we're gonna do our parsley that we chopped up. Next, what we're gonna do, three eggs. Now, I like to do, I have 1.5 pounds of 80-20 ground beef, so I figure three eggs is good. These are small eggs. Next, I took about two or three more cloves of garlic. I chopped them up in my little processor. You could use heavy whipping cream or milk, but I happen to have milk, so we're gonna do a little bit of milk. We're gonna do one cup of breadcrumbs. I happen to be using Italian-style breadcrumbs. Then we're gonna do one cup of our Italian blend with the Parmesan and Romano cheese. Salt, black pepper, and that's gonna be our slurry. We're just gonna get all this incorporated. I might have went a little too heavy on the slurry and made a little too much, but I have 1.6, now I'm looking at the package, 1.6 of 80-20 ground beef. So we're gonna add it all in there. All of our ground beef in here, and we're gonna incorporate it all. Okay, so we got everything incorporated. Now we're gonna make our meatballs. Doesn't matter what size you make them. If you want them bigger or smaller, we're gonna get them all ready. And it's almost time to come back to the Ninja Foodie with the people on the timestamp in the beginning. Okay, if you went to the supermarket, you got your frozen meatballs, your spaghetti sauce and your noodles, a little bit of cheese, or if you made the sauce, you made your meatballs, you got your spaghetti noodles, and it's time, welcome back, it's time for the Ninja Foodie. This is where it all comes together, incorporates into a delicious spaghetti and meatballs in a matter of minutes. So let's do it. Okay, so let's get our Ninja Foodie turned on. We're gonna turn it to on. Sear, saute, on high, start. You can kind of see our setup right now. We have the lid open. We have the basket right now. We're gonna add in some olive oil. 
and we're going to brown our meatballs. Now, as you can see, I really packed them in there. And as this thing heats up with the oil, it's going to start to brown them. And I'm going to want to turn them every about 30 seconds. Once we're on full blast, we're going to get these all browned and then I'll take you along to the next step. And as they cook that 80, 20 ground beef, that fat's going to come out and render which is gonna be awesome because that's gonna be part of our sauce. Okay, I shut off the Ninja Foodie, pulled out the meatballs. It's just cooling off right now. This is what's left. Now it's time to add in our sauce. Now whether you made your own sauce or whether you purchased it at the store, get it all in there. We got our sauce laid down and I picked up some thin spaghetti noodles. And so I just wanna get the package about 50-50 and I wanna break them and I wanna put a little bit sideways, a little bit horizontal because I don't want them to stick. So we wanna make sure that they're all kinds of different ways. I'm gonna just wet the top of the noodles with one more cup of water. I'm gonna go ahead and reincorporate these meatballs. On the Ninja Foodie, you're gonna go ahead and use your pressure lid. So you wanna make sure that that locks into place. We're gonna turn her on, pressure cook, high, time, seven minutes, start. And always remember with a pressure cooker, be careful when releasing the pressure, make sure everything goes well. We'll catch you guys back in seven minutes when we stir it up, plate it up, and show you the final picture. All right, seven minutes, it's time to plate it up, see how we're doing. Got plenty of meal prep left over for the next couple of nights, next couple of days, with our meatballs and our pasta. Let's move past our dirty dishes. Put a little bit of cheese on it, threw a little basil leaf on it, and ba-bam, there you go. Spaghetti and meatballs in the Ninja Foodie, simple and easy. Hello, little guy in the official taste tester. Ooh, that's hot. Oh, that's hot. Official taste tester. You give it two thumbs up, one thumbs up? Five. Five thumbs up? Ball status? Oh, I'll give that 10. 10 thumbs up. Good for meal prep, good for dinner, simple, easy recipes. That meatball is pretty fantastic. I thought the slurry was gonna be too much. Nope, see you on the next one.